Okay. People trip over this a lot. If I want to create a dictionary of Oh, uh, sorry. If I want to create a dictionary of birthdays equals Isaac Newton, 1643, and Charles Darwin, 1809, I can't do it that way. I want a multi-part key. Right? I want to separate out the first names and the last names and use that as a key. I can't do it because that's a list. Lists aren't hashable, and I can only use hashable things as keys. If it could be modified after the fact, I cannot use it as a key. So, I use tuples, and this is why tuples were added to the language. That works. Now, that is the same values, but because I'm using parentheses rather than square brackets, it's a tuple, which means that once I've figured out its hash code to figure out where that pair is going to be stored... It's going to be there forever, and it's safe. Okay? And this is why you will see a lot of lists in Python being writ with, written with parentheses. They're tuples, not lists. It's called a tuple. Okay? And what it means is once it's been created, it cannot be changed. Now, here's one of the differences between Python and most other languages. In Java, C++, Perl, don't know Visual Basic well enough. They don't impose that restriction. You can use a mutable object like a list. You can use a data structure that can be changed in place as a key in a dictionary. If you change it after you've stored it, your entry's in the wrong place. We calculated the hash code for Isaac Newton. We figured it was 171, so we put this pair in location 171, and then you change the list to be Sir, comma, Isaac, comma, Newton. Its hash code is 4097, but it's still in location 171. Oops. It's as if we put somebody's name in the phone book and then went back and wrote their new name in, but left it in the old location in the phone book. Nobody's going to go looking for me under George Blank. They're going to look for me under Greg Wilson, even if my name used to be George Blank. And if I'm at that location under B in the phone book, but my name is written as Greg Wilson, I'm unfindable. Okay. Java, Perl, C Sharp, they let you make that mistake. Okay. Well, there are pros and cons. It's an engineering trade-off. Right? Python has this extra data type, and if you've been building up a list now, you have to copy it into a tuple so that you've got something that's constant so you can use it as a key. Okay. A Java programmer would look at that and say, well, why don't you trust me? I'm a competent programmer. Once I've used it as a key in a dictionary, I'm not going to change it. Why are you forcing me to jump through all of these hoops? Right. I'm a safe driver. Why do I have to wear a seatbelt? Right. Paranoid skeptics would say, yeah, but I don't trust you. You mean well. Your intentions are good. But everybody makes mistakes eventually. And even if they don't, the people who inherit your code might make the mistake. And if you put an entry into a dictionary and then come back to look for it later and can't find it, but you're sure you put it in there, you're going to waste a lot of time debugging. So again, it's that old engineering trade-off, right? Forgiveness and permission, optimism and pessimism. Do we give you the chance to make the mistake and bet that you'll make it so infrequently that the cost to you of finding it and fixing it is small? Or do we prevent it at the cost of being a little bit irritating all the time? You can't escape this trade-off. Right? You can pick where you want to be, but the trade-off doesn't go away. 